What's up guys, Matt the Master here, and I'm joined by Keith Jones. Oh yeah. This is Keith, uh, and Keith is from Backtrack. Now, Backtrack is a company that makes the ultimate, the ultimate MP3 and WAV, yes. and WAV backing track pedal, which is a bit wordy, but it's absolutely insane what this pedal does. Now there's, I've had experience with this pedal, I have used this pedal, I have reviewed this pedal. If you wish to watch that video, the link will be down here, somewhere. So go check that out and you can see how it works. But today we're gonna to be talking about, there's three different versions of the Backtrack pedal. There's the Backtrack MDE, a Backtrack Pro, and a standard Backtrack. They all do the same thing, but there are some slight differences, and that's why Keith is here today, the man behind the pedal, to talk about these differences and to explain why they're different, even though they look the same. Because as you can see, they do all look the same, apart from the white one. It's the same layout, but they have different things. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So guys, uh, in my hand now, we'll give you a close up of this pedal. This is the standard backtrack pedal. This is the kind of the bottom range. Well, it, yeah, it's a kind of um, practice, you know, yeah. home practice. Bedroom, bedroom yeah. level type pedal. Um, so as you can see, you've got the three sections, level, mode, and track, and a very, very cool switch to do all your switching. So Keith, if you want to briefly tell us the level, what does the level do? Okay, the level controls the stereo output from, from the pedal that would go into either your amp if you're doing practice, or into your mixer if you're playing out live yeah. or, or wherever through the PA. So that will give you a level of the output of yeah. the pedal. So basically a volume. It's a volume. A volume, yeah. Just to, to keep it simple, it's a volume switch. But pedal. there were no. less, less letters in level. I think. True, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's easier to put level than it is to put volume. <laughs> okay, very cool. And then track. What does the track section do? Okay, the track, um, each of the, there are four banks of 12 tracks that you yeah. can load on uh, and and track selects 1 to 12 for each of the banks so right. you can select up to 48 tracks that's a lot of tracks and then go moving on to the mode section of the pedal uh, on each of the what each of the three the, the standard the pro and the MDE it has a P section P1 to P4 it has L1 to L4 and B1 to B4 um, so let's talk about the standard backtrack, which is in my hand now. Um, so we've spoke about what the track does and what the level does, but the P, the P, the L, and the B may be confusing you. So Keith, uh, on the standard backtrack, what does the P stand for in the P mode? In P mode is play. play. Standard kind of MP3 player type of yeah. thing. Uh, hit the pedal, it starts. Hit the pedal again, it pauses, um, and if you hit the pedal again, it will start from the pause. Yep. If you hold the pedal down for three seconds, it will stop the track. Simple. And then the L mode on the, st on the standard is, backtrack is loop, um, which you've got to remember the backtrack, all of the backtrack models are, are MP3 or WAV players. Yeah. So loop, don't get confused with loop being a looper pedal where you can record yeah. onto it. But if you've got a track, it will just keep repeating that track endlessly, yeah. round and round and round. So if you've got a couple of bars of percussion, yeah. it will just keep repeating keep looping it. Yeah, which is cool. Uh, and then the B, uh, the B section. On the uh, well, that's backtrack. When you hit the pedal and the track is playing, it will step the track back 10 seconds and continue playing. Yeah. So it gives you an opportunity to keep playing yeah. through the same little bit over and over and over and over again. Which is why I've done that a lot. When I'm trying to learn a certain section, I keep going back and back and back. And with this, it's just a foot switch, which is... And your hands are where they should exactly. be. Exactly. You don't have to be over here doing something and then grab the guitar, shoot your foot and you're ready to rock. So you hit it once, it goes back 10 seconds. Uh, yeah, if you hit it twice, 20 seconds, three times, 30 seconds. So you can it's vary cool. the phrase, the length of phrase yeah. you want to repeat. Yeah, which is very awesome. So that's the, the, the standard, uh, the standard backtrack. Um, anything else? Well, the only other thing is that the standard backtrack is in a molded case, as we say, yeah. recommended for home use, really yeah. home uh, practice. And it, it will only play MP3 files. So now let's move on to the backtrack pro, which is step up. Yeah, from this, the standard. This we would, we would recommend the game for gigging, yeah, because it has a steel body, 
It's durable. Um, yeah, it's very durable, has anti-slip feet, um, and not only will it play MP3s, but it will play WAV files as well. Awesome. Yeah. So, the difference from the Pro to the Standard? Difference from the Pro to the Standard, steel case, MP3 and WAV, oh, both of them are manual selection. Okay, so that, that's the only difference in those that this one has a, it's like I said, more suited for gigging. Yeah. Um, it's built to, to withstand a lot of stomping. It's got the rubber feet so it doesn't slide, which is good. It plays WAV files. Um, so that's, that. yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And it, you can feel that in this one, it feels solid, which is good. Yeah. Because if you're going to be stomping on that every night while you're gigging, you're going to want something that's going to take it. And I've always said that about pedals. You need it to be able to... Absolutely. Okay, so now if we move on to the MDE, now this is the top of the range, backtrack. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one will, again it's in a steel case, recommended for gigging, Yeah. Um, but the modes operate in a slightly different way. Okay, um, so this one, does, the, the MD, MDE does MP3 and WAV still. Correct, yep. yeah. Uh, the difference is the, the mode section. Correct. Right, uh, so, so in the standard and the pro, the mode section is play, loop, and backtrack. Correct. For the MDE, the P, L, and the B stand for the P on the MDE. Performance mode. Performance mode. And the L? List mode. List mode. And the B? Backtrack again. Still backtrack. Still yeah. awesome. Okay, so let's talk about the performance mode for the MDE. What's, okay. what's different to that listing? to the play on the standard okay. and pro. Performance mode allows you to push on through the, your list of tracks. So you might have a, a, I don't know, you might be playing along to a little keyboard drone in A. Mm. Um, you might also have that keyboard drone in C, let's say, and you would want to push on. So when you hit the switch, when a track is playing and you hit the switch, it yeah. automatically moves on to the next track and immediately starts that track. For the performance mode, it's kind of like a set list, would you say? Yeah, you would have, you would have a set list or a, a performance that you wanted to create through. Yeah. So it may be different tracks that do different things yeah. for you within that song. But it allows you to force the start of the next section okay. when you want that to yeah. happen. Okay. And that's really why we've, we've classified it as performance, yeah. because it is to the musician how he wants to yeah. create it. Exactly. So L is list on the MDE. So what what is list? Okay, list do? mode um, allows you to start on your selected track. When it comes to a natural end, you hit the pedal and it's automatically incremented to your next track in your set list. So you can stand there, you do your performance, you talk to your audience. Yeah. Next time you hit the pedal, you're off on the next yeah. track in your set list. Which is good, because if you're, if you're playing live, you want to have those breaks in between songs to engage the audience, and you've just, I think it's really cool that you have total control at your feet. Yeah, you know? and, and the MDE, you can still manually select, so if you want to skip a track yeah. out of your set list, if you're boring the audience to death, you know, as some of us do. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, we think yeah we we need to move on yeah um, and and that way yeah we can you can manually select the next track that comes up or it will also increment for you okay and then the B is still backtrack right still backtrack still does which the same is thing. the learning the learning mode yeah. if you like which I think is very very cool and I think a lot it would it's suited for a lot of people it's a very cool idea just to be able to go back without. You know, we've all had it if you're using your phone and you've got to scroll back to the right second or it's a bit of a pain. Whereas this is just once to go back 10 seconds, twice to go back 20 seconds, three times to go back 30 seconds, which is spot on and it's very cool. Um, so they're, they're the differences between the three. So guys, that is uh, the three different models of Backtrack. The standard Backtrack, the Backtrack Pro and the Backtrack MDE. If you do have any more questions about them, stick it in the comments and Keith will be happy to answer your questions. Certainly will. Um, so, that's not everything. There is more. Uh, Backtrack does come with some optional accessories, uh, but I will just mention one extremely cool thing about this Backtrack pedal is that it's all done by a memory. SD memory card, you load all your tracks onto it, 
you pop it into the side of the thing and it's all there. Uh, if you want to know more about that, you can go watch the review that I filmed for the Backtrack MDE and I talk a bit about loading the tracks in that video. Uh, like I said, the link will be in the description below. Go check it out, give it a watch. Uh, so, accessories. Now, accessories are always fun. Yeah. Extras, optional goodies. Um, now, we have something here, which is the remote trigger foot switch. Uh, the remote trigger foot switch. The remote trigger foot switch. So yeah. let's, let's talk briefly about what that does, because it's very cool. It's okay. a great idea. So Keith, let's, let's do this. What, what does the what remote we've trigger got switch do? Is, um, obviously some players with the, with the Backtrack, and, uh, Backtrack Pro, it's manual selection. So what we do is we do a, a, a bracket, a mounting bracket, that will clip up onto your mic stand or your music stand. And that gives you the selection up higher with the pedal, but obviously yeah. you can't get your foot up there. So yeah, a bit more difficult. So what we've done is we've got a remote trigger right. foot switch. So you can have your selection up high okay. where you need it. So the, the actual pedal, the actual pedal with all the modes and level and tracks on will go into the bracket and then you will attach that to your mic stand or yeah. something that's yeah, mic or here. Music stand. Yeah. Yeah. And then the foot switch will plug into the pedal, boom, and then this will run down to the floor so you've still got all access with your feet. You've just got access to all the knobs up here. <laughs> now we did have a little side joke earlier about saying knob on video because it's funny. <laughs> um, and I did laugh. I wasn't going to but I did. So you've got access to all of the knobs up here if say you're a singer or even if you're a guitar player or whatever but you've still got the foot access here so you don't have to like he said you don't have to hoist your foot up high or bend down it. low or bend down low it just covers everywhere that's yeah he's the man uh, right and, and another cool little extra thing over here you might see it if you can see some batteries and a thing yeah let's talk about this it, it does it doesn't come like this we just show well it, it comes with a cover obviously oh, yeah. it has a well. cover this is the Busker's battery pack. Yeah, it's the Busker's battery pack. Okay, we, so we what does this do? Um, what it will do is it will it will run a backtrack pedal with all of your backing tracks on. Yeah. Um, and it will run that for continuous for about eight hours. Oh wow! Um, and then when the battery is arrested, it will run again probably for another six hours. So there's quite a lot of use out of um, you know standard. Oh, so you don't project. necessarily. You you so if you go, don't go into the mains, no. if you're somewhere without a main plug, you've got a battery. Yeah. Wow! And if you're in the middle of a field? <laughs> uh, so if you're nowhere near a mains, if you're busking? Well, if you're busking, yeah, it will run separately to your, your amp. You may yeah. have a battery amp yeah. that you're going out through. So that's the, the busker's battery pack, which again is another very cool little accessory. So guys, one more very cool accessory, which we have down here, which we'll be showing you very shortly, is another cool thing that you can buy from Backtrack. So Keith, if you just put your hands out momentarily. And there it is! A, a cool, let, talk about this Keith, it's a cool little well, Backtrack it's, it's carry kind box. Of, yeah, it's a kind of gig ink case. Really. A gig case. Um, you know, when you've, you, you might have a, a bracket and a pedal and a foot switch and you know, there are kind of adapters that we do and a box to carry them in. Which is pretty handy. I mean, it's, it's a very cool, smart, tidy carry case, which is easier to take to a gig than uh, an armful of pedals and games well, and whatnot. it is. So and let's it, take it, it keeps all of your bits together. Keeps all your bits together. Right, let's have a quick look inside. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just packed with stuff right now. So in here, Keith's got a remote trigger foot switch, backtrack pedal, power supply, uh, cables, whatnot. Um, and... And a bracket. And a bracket. It all fits. You could probably even fit a sandwich in there. If you were, if you worked it properly, you could get your sandwich in there Absolutely. and an apple and all that sort of stuff. Which I think is very cool. So people can buy these. Yeah, you can either buy them empty. Yeah. Um, or we sell them also fully loaded with standard backtrack uh, bits and accessories and adapters. That's pretty good. And, and also the pro version. Yeah. In the same way. So, so if you've got the pedals and stuff already, you just need something to carry it in. You can just buy the carry case on its own, or you can buy it fully loaded with all the goodies you need to go out and gig. All these goodies that we have shown, the pedals, 
the, the busking battery pack, the this. Where can they buy it? If somebody wanted to buy this today, after this video, buy one. Where can they go and get it? They can go to our website, which is www.backtrack, which is spelled B A K T R A K. Yeah, spell it right. I keep spelling it wrong. Yeah, but B A K T R A K. There's no C. If you want to go head over to the website right now and have a good read about Backtrack, I've had a brief read through it and it's fairly interesting. So guys, go check it out, all the ins and outs of these pedals, and you can check out all the goodies that you can buy, and you can buy them for yourselves. So guys, that has been Backtrack with Keith. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> um, I, I personally really, really love what Backtrack is. The idea of it, for me personally, I'm a guitar player, I want to perform live, but I don't have a band but I make my own music at home, so all I would need to do is to load my backing tracks to my songs onto one of these pedals, and I can go out and gig. I don't need a band. That's true. You've, you've made it happen. Thank you. It's awesome. I don't have to put up with annoying band members. <laughs> so guys, if you like the idea of this pedal and you want to get one for yourselves, like we said, head over to the Backtrack website, backtrackpedal.co.uk, and check out their range of pedals and accessories and whatnot. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. We have been talking about Backtrack and we've been hanging out with the awesome Keith. Um, all the links will be down below, go check it out. Show them some love, I'll put the link to their social media, to their YouTube channel, which you can go and subscribe to, and you can subscribe to this channel too. So guys, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up, comment below, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff. We have been chatting with Keith. This has been Backtrack. And, uh, as always, rock out, be awesome, see, see ya! ya.